Okay, so I got my car, I had, I got this phone call saying I needed my regular maintenance for my car, and, um, they were, this lady answered the phone really, like, annoyed and saying, telling me it was gonna cost $350, which I was kind of taken back by, and was like, okay, I can't really afford to pay that, so I went to the dealership and asked them how much and, like, what they had to do for this maintenance, like, how much it was going to, why it cost that much, and the guy told me it was only an oil change, which should just be, like, $30, and I was like, okay, well, uh, I can, that's, that's fine, I can, I need to do that, um, and then also... A while back I had to get my tires changed um, and for some reason after that uh, my hood was not able to pop up after I got my tires changed um, so I asked them if they could fix that and they told me it was gonna be a hundred dollars and just for them and not even to fix it to just open the hood to do my oil, which would be $30 on top of that, and that's not even to fix the actual, like, handle thing that they had broken originally. So I was like, no, I'm not paying $100. You know, I just, I mean, I, I can just afford the oil change for now, but, I mean, you need to open it. So they're like, well, we have to charge $100 just to open the hood to do the oil change, so... I don't know, um, yeah, so, hundred dollars for that, and so I told them no, though, and I was like, I'll just do the oil change, and they came back telling me that they'll just charge me fifty dollars to open the hood, and then to, and then thirty dollars for my oil change, or whatever, and so, I think they were kind of bummed because they didn't pay, charge me an additional $100 for what they quoted or whatever. Because they left, like, crap inside of my hood because I checked it. At least they, they actually fixed the latch itself, so that was good. But, um, but they left stuff in there, which I'm going to clean out in a little bit. Um, and check my other fluids because I was like asking him if they if they checked other things that they should have but the guy was kind of like hesitant in his response so I'm gonna recheck it to make sure and then on top of that I had to pay they said my brakes need to get done which they would charge me six hundred dollars which I can definitely just get buy brake pads for cheaper and then have somebody do it for me probably cheaper um, so, make sure you don't, just don't let car dealerships scam you. It's like a racket kind of thing. I mean, they're good for, like, warranties, and if you speak with them and communicate effectively, you can get good deals and what have you, but they will definitely try to get you for every dollar that they can get. Um, but... Make sure you know how to check your fluids, that's important, and, but also be safe. Don't do things just on, because of price or what have you, like, if it needs to be taken care of to ensure your safety, that's important, but don't let people scam you if you can get it cheaper. So, that's my two cents on my little rant of car dealerships. And, uh, yeah, so, cool.